All right, so let's jump back in. <clears throat> the good thing about these sales for you as an agent is these are clientele that are, as we saw earlier, probably affluent, probably a little older. And the good thing is they are buying real estate because they want to, not because they have to. So that is a very key point that when you start marketing, you want to keep that in mind that this clientele is affluent, older, and are buying properties because they want to, not because they have to. And due to the recent pandemic of 2020 now, uh, we created this thing called remote workers or teleworker workers. And some of you younger people in the crowd have probably heard the nomadic life now has become a very popular term because of the mindset that they now don't have to live near or uh, the proximity of their work. Uh, I know for a fact that in the middle of 2020, I taught from a basement of my house, streaming live to people on the internet that weren't obviously in my basement. So uh, that now allows these people to move to where they want to be because they can work remotely. Now here's some couple statistics. The number of ex existing home sales rose by almost 25% on average in what NAR calls vacation home counties. That is more than double the 11% of sales in non-vacation home counties. 10 of the counties in the United States reside in four states, Florida, Maryland, Massachusetts, and North Carolina. Up on the screen, or for those of you at home, uh, there is a list of the 10 counties that we're not going to go through that the NI NAR has ranked as the highest counties for vacation property, all right? Um, according to this study, where they contrasted and compared 145 vacation home counties versus about a thousand counties in non-vacation home, they found that the home sales rose 16% in the year 2020 alone. That's just under three times the increase of existing home sales at 5.6%. So vacation homes actually rose during the year of the pandemic. That is probably, for you guys, that's probably not a shock because you're in the business. Most of the general public are going to think that's counterintuitive. During the pandemic, everything was depressed except home sales, all right? Now, some people say, well, it was the interest rate. Some people say it was other issues. I believe this is one of the reasons. There was also the mindset that if people are going to be in their house, you know, 24 seven, that they wanted a better place to be in the house. So they chose to buy a second home in a different location. That same study found that vacation home counties outperformed the counterpart non-vacation home counties in the sales price the appreciation of the property, and the days on market. 30, average 30 days on market in vacation home counties versus 59 days on market in the non-vacation home counties. So it was almost twice as fast. The sales times for these houses were even quicker than the market you guys are working in right now. Uh, the median home, the median sales price for an existing home rose by 10.1% in non-vacation counties, but rose by 14% in vacation county homes. So there was a lot of influx of sales in that second home market that has created these opportunities for you to specialize in this market. It has become a huge market. It, they, NAR does not see it shrinking in the foreseeable future. So this is something you guys want to keep in mind 
that this may be a new niche area for you. And we're going to talk a little bit later about uh, the NAR certification for this type of market. All right. So let's hold on here for a second. 